What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona Now and today we're coming to you from Clarkdale in the Verde Valley. We're going to explore Tuzagut archaeological site, go around the town, the old mining village that's now a historic area, check out the railroad, and let's begin here at the Tuzagut archaeological site which is a national monument. I'm going to show you guys around this place. All right, so the Sanawan people were pre-Columbian uh, civilization that existed around the Verde Valley, Flagstaff, Volcanic area, the Caldera area, as well as the Little Colorado River, the Mogollon Rim. Just in case you're wondering how to pronounce it, the G is kind of silent, Sanawan. Not Sanawan, Sanawan. So anyways, they had a fairly advanced civilization for the time. Uh, it is believed that they migrated to Arizona from East Central uh, Arizona at the time, emerging from the Mogollon culture. Around the time of 500 CE to 1425 CE. So you could see some artifacts like these pots or arrowheads and some of the other tools that you would have used like matates and uh, manos. So some other sites that you can check out with the Sanawin history are going to be around the Walnut Canyon area, Mpaki, uh, the Montezuma Castle, this area here, Palatki, Hanaki, and Montezuma Well, and there's also the Elden Pueblo. I believe the area around the Tano National Monument as well may have been Sanawin because they were cliff dwellers like you saw up in Mesa Verde, Colorado. But if you're really looking to explore the archeological past, you're gonna really wanna check out this one here, Tuzagut, and then right down the road is Montezuma's Castle. All right, so now let's head outside and take a look at this actual monument outside, up on the hill in a river valley along the Verde River. Around here, they would have grown a lot of corn, squash, and other kinds of beans that grow indigenously out in this part of the desert. So here is where the two to three story Pueblo ruin, the Tuzagut Pueblo is. Uh, it sits on a summit of limestone and sandstone, which would have helped protect it from the erosion of the pretty powerful Verde River. And actually at this site, it looks like two uh, runoff areas were converging from the Black Hills and the area of Mingus. Most of the rocks used to build the actual Pueblo were set in mud and it served as kind of like an adobe concrete that allowed them to build up. This structure was actually restored uh, and excavated by the University of Arizona later restored by the Phelps Dodge Corporation. And you can see down there in the Verde Valley areas where they would have grown their corn and squash in a fertile plain next to a river. The site itself is fairly small. It would take about an hour or so to walk around the entire site, go up and down into the kivas and the uh, storerooms, and then go up to the actual Pueblo itself. infrastructure that was in place and just how many people could have lived here from the Sanawan uh, tribe here.
This area up here is actually the highest level of the Pueblo, which I would assume is where the leader of the tribe would have lived or possibly even where they would have gathered for a high level uh, meeting, maybe even a temple. I don't know exactly, although you can research that when you actually get to Tuzugu. If you are new to living in Arizona now, you can subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to get notified when we do come out with a new video. And you can see that rock there, that's where they actually would have ground corn on a matate, and they would have used a mono grinding stone to grind the corn and make tortillas or black bread. Anyways, let's head back down the hill to the historic area of Old Clarkdale. So Clarkdale is a fairly small town actually in Yavapai County, just under 5,000 population. It was founded in 1912 by William Clark, that's where it gets its name. And it was actually kind of established as a sub outlet or a sub city town for Jerome, which was the copper mine up the hill. So the modern mining towns in the world uh, Clarkdale was one of them at the turn of the century when it was in its heyday. Nowadays, you drive through there, it's a fairly sleepy looking town, but at one point it was a boom town just like up the hill at Jerome. Nowadays, the main economic factor in Clarkdale is the cement factory which in 1959 was restored by the Phoenix Cement Company. So nowadays, cement <laughs> is what you will see as the main economic factor there, and there is a big plant that uh, kind of is in the backdrop of Clarkdale. Also, there is a interesting railroad that has been restored, which we're gonna show you here. All right, so just outside the old historic downtown, we're gonna head down the road to the uh, railroad, the Verde Valley Railroad, which you'll see right here coming up. We didn't actually get on the train. We're gonna do that in another video, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed to us, you wanna keep an eye on that if you wanna see what the Verde Valley Railroad's all about. It's running about half the staff, being that the, uh, we're still in the uh, pandemic situation. But let's take a look here at what it looks like down at the railway. And uh, it is about a couple hour long trail or rail <laughs> through the Verde Canyon. Uh, they call it a wilderness route. So you will see what it looks like in terms of the wild Verde Valley, which you could see anything from a bobcat to a mountain lion, maybe even a bear if it comes down this low. But bear in mind, not too far away from here is the beautiful Arizona town of Sedona. 
And that does remind me, if you haven't already seen some of our other videos from Sedona or Cottonwood, go ahead and go onto our homepage, search the channel, and we have videos from all over. I'll even put links to those at the end of the video if you guys want to see that. And you can check the description links below for more of those videos. And here's a look inside the gift shop at the railway. And thank you to everyone for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one one of these links to the other videos and take care.